Howdy folks, in this video I will show you how to set up various buttons, key macros, and scripts for your Logitech gaming mouse or keyboard. So let's get to it. The mouse has all of the functionality of the keyboard plus a few things, so I'm just going to use the mouse for our examples here. First thing is the home screen, which is what you're going to see when you load up. The first thing you want to do, and this is extremely important, is you want to set the automatic game detection switch right here. So if it's on onboard memory, it's not going to do all the cool functions that you want. So you want to put it on automatic game detection. Again, do that first before you even proceed. Make sure you do that. And then we're going to move over to the mouse here. The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your own custom profile. So we're gonna hit the plus button here on the profiles and we're gonna give it a name. Let's just call it test profile, right? And then example for video. It's just what's gonna show up on the thing. And then you wanna put the plus, hit the plus here and that will let you go ahead and add something, add an EXE. It doesn't have to be a game, it can be anything. I've got ones for notepad as you can see up here and stuff like that too. So the first type of thing you can do with the buttons is just a simple remap. Um, having this press a key or a different button than the one it normally does. So you can either edit the command here or what you can do is you can just say like here, one, right? So if you do that, okay, let's do something else. <laughs> Apparently you have to have one thing. Okay, so let's find left click, right? Left click, let's assign left click to there and then you can assign the one button to that, the one key to that, see? So now you have simple reassignments there. The other thing you can do is you can do more complicated commands. And so you can add a command and you can either do a single key again. And what, what you wanna do is you can do shift or regular, just A, the A key. And then you can have it repeat. You can either have it while you're holding it down, it repeats or you can turn the repeat on and off by pu pushing this button. So you can do that, and then you can have a delay in milliseconds. Now remember, 50 milliseconds, for example, is 20 times a second, 25 milliseconds is 40 times a second. Uh, you know, one frame at 60 frames per second, one frame is about 17 milliseconds. So, you know, if you'd go more than that, you're probably, especially if the game doesn't do physics more than, you know, once per frame, you're probably not even getting multiple clicks out of it. So the other thing you want to be uh, careful about is if you're doing too many, if you're spamming it too much, sometimes the game will just shut that off or ignore it or whatever. And so it's basically like an oversaturation thing. So you do want to try your delay on this and find what's optimum for whatever purpose you're trying to do for your game. The next type here is a multi-key. And so what you can do is you can even start recording and can, you can go, you know, like this, right? You press your keys and it does that, okay? And then you can you can go in and you can, you can edit these or change or whatever, right? You can change the delays if you double click on that. If you double, can you change that? I guess you can't change the keys, but you can change the delay. So that's 40 milliseconds, 78 milliseconds, et cetera, et cetera. So you can change those. If you wanna have mouse events in here, you go insert mouse event. And then you need left button down or up or click. Usually you wanna do down and then do something and then up and you know, so you can do a down, for example, let's, let's clear this, right? Let's clear all this if we can. Can we clear all of it? There we go, so select all as usual, control A, and clear everything, right? So we're gonna go insert mouse event, left button down, and then we're gonna go insert mouse event, left button up. Oh, we're gonna insert a delay first, and then we're gonna go insert mouse button, left button up, okay? Now with this, you can't move the mouse with the multi-key stuff. You can do mouse clicks and scrolls, but you can't do, um, actual mouse movement and that'll be the scripts in a little bit so that's the way you can do this and again you can have this repeat in the same fashion as the other one the other thing you can have it's obviously a text block you can do specialized mouse functions and all kinds of weird you know keys for that kind of stuff etc etc and so we've got a few built-in functions apparently 
that they like to add on there and then even some Ventrilo. But basically for games, you're just gonna use these two for the most part. Now, once you've added your command, it's gonna show up in this list and then you're just gonna do like we did before and you're just gonna drag and drop it onto the thing or you can go down here and you can do edit or assign new command that way. So there's multiple ways, pathways to do that. Our last thing is the scripts. Now these can do more complex things for you, such as moving the mouse to a specific place on the screen or clicking or uh, dragging and that kind of thing. So you can also do absolute or relative mouse movement, which is really handy. So to enter the scripts, what you wanna do is mouse over your icon here and click the little down arrow and we're gonna go to scripting and I'll show you some of my Imperion scripts. Now, one of them that uh, we're gonna use later on is up here, but let's, let's look at this here. And what this does is it looks at the mouse button pressed, that's the event, and the argument means which button. So basically, there's lots of mouse button press, as you see here, there's number four, there's number 10, and as you can see on here, these are the different mouse buttons. And you can test which one is which, you know, in the game and that kind of thing too to figure out which button you want to do. But anyway, in this one, we're moving the mouse to a specific coordinate because there's a button on the screen that this moves over to press and then it presses the mouse button and releases the mouse button, as you see here. And that's button number one, which is your left click. So that's button one, button two, and I believe that's button three. And then all these other ones are the specialty uh, Logitech buttons. So the other things you can do in there is you can have it press and release keys. You can have it sleep, which means it, it waits for so many milliseconds. You can have move mouse relative or absolute coordinates. And obviously, as you saw before, we have press and release mouse button, press and release keys. You can also have press key, hold it, and that kind of thing too. Now you can also put math in here. As you see, this is a scripting language. This is not, uh, this is not just markup or whatever. This is an actual script. So it executes this stuff. So we're doing you know, different uh, math problems in here to get this to get this to work. Now, if you need to find a specific screen coordinate, such as where to move the mouse to click here or to drag from here to there, what you can do is you can uncomment this, these four lines right here. So you uncomment them by just deleting this stuff out. And then what this is gonna do is when the mouse button is pressed, you either right or left click, this is going to get the X and Y position of the mouse on the screen, and then it's gonna put this into, that's gonna put that information into this little gray window down here. So you're gonna go into the game, you're gonna click on the places that you want, and then you're gonna come back to here, and you're gonna find your coordinates. So that's how you can do that, and when you're done with that, you can do this and re comment it back out. So if you have code that you're testing, you want to work with and all that stuff, that's that's how you can do that without having to move it, you know, copy paste it out into a different window or whatever in order to hold on to it. So you can just comment this stuff out here. Now the last type of script is actually quite a bit more complex and I borrowed some code that was pre-existing in order and modified it in order to serve my purposes. But what this one does is it actually does a task and what this will do is once you press a key, it'll turn on this auto toggle thing. So what this will do is every 12 plus one to 30 seconds, this will, so 12 to 42 seconds, right? What this is gonna do is this is going to pick a different key to press and press it. So this was in X-Plane, it would allow me to have the computer automatically switch views for different views on the plane. And so I'm going to include the source code here in the description so that you can copy and I'll also put a link on uh, Pastebin so that you can check this out. This is a little bit more complicated. You probably will need a little bit of uh, programming or scripting experience to be able to do this, but you can use this and you can modify this for your own purposes if you need something to work on a timer and randomly pick things every so often. But that's the basics of the Logitech gaming software. That's how to actually get your cool macros working and usable and make stuff happen in your games that you want to happen. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Um, if you enjoy the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Later.